Discipline towards maturity. Reading from scripture, 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 8. For bodily exercise profits a little, but godliness is profitable for all things, having promise of the life that now is and of that which is to come. Daily practice of spiritual discipline is necessary for spiritual growth, just like any other significant thing that requires a daily discipline. Let's take, for example, a student who needs to be disciplined in times of his study so that he can become proficient in his subject. Or an employee in his workplace who needs to be proficient in, in working uh, his time or in meeting deadlines. Or a musician who needs to be disciplined in daily practice so that he gets better at his skill. Similarly, as believers, we need to engage in spiritual discipline in order for us to grow spiritually mature. So what is discipline? It is a training that is expected to produce a particular character or behavior. Spiritual disciplines are those that augment our spiritual growth and help us grow into spiritual authority and maturity. They are biblical practices that a believer does to grow spiritually in Christ. When we discipline ourselves, not only does our character grow, but we bear much fruit as we grow in our relationship with Christ. So what is the purpose of spiritual discipline? Spiritual discipline allows us to dive deeper into the heart and mind of God. Your desires begin to change because your love and your yearning for Him grows. All that you want is to seek Him is to want him to hear his heart, to seek him with all your heart and mind and soul, and he begins to reveal more of himself to you. The purpose of spiritual discipline is also the development of our inner being, that which has been transformed as a new creation by Christ at the time of salvation. Jesus himself gave us the key to spiritual growth which is to abide in him and in his words. Scripture says in John 15, 4, Abide in me and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. The word of God is like food for us, and which enables us to grow and which enables us to transform. This involves not just studying the word, it involves memorizing and meditating on it. If this discipline is neglected, we find ourselves unable to overcome the powers of the enemy or the powers of the sin nature that is inside of us. Nor can we, nor can we withstand the attack of the devil. The Bible says the word of God is God-breathed and the power of God, that is what becomes living and transforming. This is something we really need to do actively and consistently, memorizing the word, because we have the freedom to choose what we put into our minds. We have the discipline of meditating and, and uh, memorizing what is vital and intentional for us. The discipline of spending time in the word is merely not just for the reason of doing it, but it is with an intent and purpose unto godliness. Although the goal is godliness, the practice is to discipline ourselves and do what we are required to do, to study and meditate on God's word. To grow into maturity, we train and come to a place of practice to read, to study and to meditate his word. Let's begin to take some time in our day today. Maybe it's just a few verses. But as we discipline ourselves into a few things, as time goes by, we will find that we will be able to do more. Let's take time to pray together. Father God, we thank you for your word. We pray, Lord, that we will be intentional. We will take time to read your word, to study, to meditate on it, to allow the truth of it to go into our very being. Father, even as we discipline ourselves, we pray that you will empower us to do so, so that we can move on from a level, from levels of maturity. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. 
For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.